guys, what's up and welcome to Young Titan World. Oh my god, I almost fell down there. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I already made a post today, so you kind of thought I wasn't gonna be here, did ya? Well, joke's on you, because I'm here, I'm square, and I'm ready to clear the fact that I'm not queer. Okay, um, now I have been, I have been around for quite some time i've been making posts not only here but on tiktok on youtube on instagram ish because i never really liked instagram okay call me what you want it seems as if it only wants to show me thick booty thighs and i don't want that i'm a man of god and i would not be led astray so i barely go there so i barely post there I mean, sometimes I do work up the courage to um, upload the TikToks I'm most confident in. But all, but to be honest with you, I'm not really big on Instagram. But yeah, I still try to post as much as possible. And I've been streaming on TikTok and on Twitch for quite some time. Uh, the intent is that I would be able to, you know garner more people who will tag along in my journey to you know godhood uh in those particular arenas not to talk about youtube and every single thing else that comes into um perspective it's it's really a humbling uh experience i don't know if you are streaming it it, it's like it's different like you know when you're watching a movie by yourself it feels different and when you're also like watching it in a theater it also feels different like when everyone goes ooh and ah it's like you can you can vibe with that it resonates with something inside you and makes you go oh i enjoy it a lot better same thing goes when you're eating but i don't know when i'm eating with people it feels awkward i like eating by myself close to a movie that i'm watching by myself maybe it's not everyone who feels that way but you can admit that the experience that you have when you're watching a movie in a theater is different from that when you're by yourself in front of your tv watching it at all by your lonesome unless of course you want to count the ghosts and the spirits that exist in that particular plane in time but that's not what we're after right now i'm here to talk about my streaming experience now i have been streaming ever since we began 2023 and i had made it a goal of mine to try and a to stream at least once a day if not on twitch on tiktok if not on tiktok on twitch i've been trying to do that for quite some time uh because of that uh, it motivated me to get a laptop that would be able to um you know uh, deliver on the front of streaming so that i would not be streaming a very poor quality or poor content and it'll be great you know for for what i'm trying to do now ideally most of the time when it comes to streaming there are a lot of factors involved uh, most of the time when you hop onto youtube and you ask the question how do i get more people to stream with me the answers you get is you know stuff that it takes a long time you know first you're gonna have to be famous if you're not famous people are not gonna tune into you so <laughs> you're not gonna get like a hundred people streaming your shit uh the moment you start but it's something that you have to be consistent with and the consistency takes time you also have to build your own brand and be worth the time because no one is gonna waste like five minutes just looking at you stare at the screen doing nothing they value their time in fact they want to be entertained within the shortest period of time so if you're not squealing if you're not squabbling if you're not doing something that generates or piques their interest you're gonna lose them the first moment that they you know turn into your channel like they tune into your channel and I had to, I learned this the hard way, the hard way, because when I started, my microphone was as shitty as fuck. <laughs> you couldn't hear shit, okay? It was worse than a radio that had gone bad. And 
no one could hear what I had to say. No one could see me because my camera was jammed. In fact, the first time that I used the camera on my laptop, it wasn't even functional. <laughs> that shit wasn't even working. But I had to like, so I bought a separate kind of web camera that was gonna help me at least deliver 720p. And that, that would have been okay, but it still didn't work out. I remember when I purchased the microphone as well, I had to purchase a separate microphone and I attached it to the laptop. It would work for five seconds and then it would stop working. So midstream, it would just like, it just crap on itself and you wouldn't hear Jack. So then by that time I was, I had no idea how I was gonna do this, you know, because I'd be streaming and then I'd become uncomfortable with the streaming because I know for a fact that even if anyone if anyone had the opportunity to tune into that, that piece of work, it was not going to be productive. They would not like it. They would not want to come back and watch more. They would be absolutely mortified. And you can even attest to some times where my mind goes blank when I'm talking about stuff on, t on my own podcast. So <clears throat> having to deal with the fact that no one wanted to listen to my shit, well, it, it kind of like, it shoots into your ego, okay? It just, it, it fucks you up on another level, knowing that people don't find you interesting, that you are boring as hell, and no one wants to even look at what you've got to offer. And yeah, I mean, you can feel that way. Streaming, streaming requires a sort of mental fortitude, I gotta tell you. You gotta like, put on some sort of armor around you, when you're streaming, just keep for a fact that you are going to enjoy what you're doing and fuck everybody else. Well, not fuck everybody else, because technically they made the experience worthwhile. But you shouldn't put your entire dependence or your entire esteem on what the video, the views are going to be, the follows or the people who are paying attention to your content. I honestly wanted to record every moment that I was on stream but until I get myself a really steady hard drive I'm not gonna be doing that that because I know for a fact that there will be those gems those moments where I go oh my god did you see that but I'm not able to do that because I'm so self-conscious in my environment where I stay that I don't want to cause a conundrum. I don't want to make noise where I stay by shouting on top of my voice because someone killed me in a game. I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that. So what I really do is that I bottle it up and I sound chill and I sound cool. But people don't want that. They want you to scream and rage so that they can feel good about giving you money on, you know, a stream. I mean, it's no... It's, there's nothing wrong with that because ideally if they want to be excited they want to give it to someone that makes them feel excited not a person who is super chill about being scared or freaked out by a ghost which is exactly what I did <laughs> in Dark Fracture I mean I, I guess I didn't I didn't scare easily or maybe I, I did get scared but I didn't know how to express it <laughs> I mean, there was one of the jump scares just hit me and I was like, huh? what the fuck is huh? <laughs> nigga, nigga, an army man could do better than that. What the fuck was that? It's like I wanted to pretend that I was scared. But to be honest with you, that was my genuine reaction, bro. I was not faking anything. That thing caught me by surprise because I I wanted to stream like a scary game you know like I I'd already gotten Five Nights at Freddy's I thought that that was cool you know it, it didn't really take much for me because it's a famous franchise and obviously a, the moments those moments have been stolen I don't know how to put this but when you're when you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, you know that if you're gonna be in trouble, well, it's when the animatronics are too close. 
or you turn on the lights and you see Bonnie staring at you uh, and making you feel really weird or the light goes out and then someone's eyes start blinking on the left side or the right side and you know you're fucked that 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 exists that exists and people have uploaded that kind of content onto youtube for many times and there are famous ones like markiplier who've already made so many types of content about that particular thing so it's lost its luster you are not gonna find but you're not gonna be totally surprised about it because you've seen it happen before so it takes the shine away from it so I was thinking of something different, you know, something that people I had naturally touched before. And then I stumbled upon Dark Fracture, you know, like um, Dark Fracture is crazy. First off, so I streamed it. Um, I streamed it both on Twitch and then I streamed it on TikTok. But now my new plan is to stream it on YouTube. Now, YouTube is uncharted territory. I've never streamed on YouTube before. Um, I know if anyone looked at my channel, they would be like, dude, you need to focus on one, focus on that one. And then and I'm like, dude, that's crazy. But why can't I like um, do this? Like two birds with one stone, three birds with one stone, because I feel like this content is valid this is awesome content people are not wasting their time when they tune into my channel people are not wasting their time when they watch me go live okay it's it's cool <laughs> i have a great life probably not as great as i think but it's definitely something that is probably more interesting than what you would even consider as mainstream media <sighs> but you see i'm also struggling with anxiety as well now, I'm not going to classify that as a mental health issue or whether or not I have ADHD or whatever mental illness, mil illness exists on this plane. All I'm going to say is that I'm struggling with things. I know that, but I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go harder. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to go better, better than ever, every single day, one step further or more steps forward because I will constantly be in a state of Kaizen, which is a new word that I just figured out was, uh, you know, a process of being in constant improvement. And I kind of like that word and it's not going to be my word. And if the day comes that I must select a tattoo, that will be the first one. And I mean, it fits into my shtick because it's kind of like a Japanese uh, thing. And I love I love me some Japanese konnichiwa, motherfucker. Oh, wow. That was... <laughs> okay. Okay, some niggas definitely looking at me funny. All right. Um, yeah, but yeah, totally the streaming thing. I mean, it has gotten to a point. I don't know how to say this, but it has gotten to a point where I am happy when only seven people are on the stream honestly though because i've been so used to the zero <laughs> i i mean sometimes twitch get, like has pity on you and decides to let the one stay on longer than usual so it's like letting you see that there is one person at least one person who is on the stream with you so then it doesn't feel so alone <laughs> meanwhile there's no one there there's absolutely no one no one there, no one likes you. Yeah, it, it kind of, it does, it do be like that though. It do be like that, but it's cool. You know, it's cool. I really do enjoy doing it because then I get to share the experience with everyone. You know, I'm not doing this for myself. Um, I learned a long time ago that sometimes you affect people you make their days better or worse. And the last thing I want to do is make someone's day worse. Today, when I was even coming, uh, when I was on my way to, you know, the service, I, I stumbled upon a sibling duo. They were great. They looked cute. Salut. Salut. The thing was, they were running away from dogs. And if you know anything about dogs, 
You know, the dogs, they love a good chase. They love a good chase. Which is why they love squirrels, because those, those niggas run fast as fuck. <laughs> and, and these, the sibling duo, they were running away from them. And that's the chase that they wanted. So they were going. <laughs> so I like stepped in and I was like, all right. Use my inside voice, something which I didn't know I could do. And then I stopped the dogs, and it turns out that they were actually looking for money on the ground when they got spooked by those damn mutts. And I, I wish I did more, honestly. I wish I gave them the money they were looking for, because it turns out whilst they were in a frantic rage to run away from all that surrounded them, they ended up losing cash, cash that they needed. And it was sad, but I couldn't even give them money because I, I don't really carry cash around. I don't do that. And uh, I wish I was able to help them more. But uh, that's just what I'm talking about. You can make someone's day better. And we're in a digital world. You're not gonna find everyone outside sitting in the park listening to some music walking by the road most of the time they're cooped up in their house and there is no place to go or they're working from home and there's no joy they're sad as fuck and i don't want that to be the case you can make someone stay better you can smile at them try be nice to them rather <laughs> Rather than just want everyone to be in the shit so oh, you're comfortable that everyone's having a bad day. I don't, I don't, I, that doesn't sit well me. That's why I'm doing the stream. That's, I'm just doing it to make someone's day better. If someone watches my stream and they're happy, they come across the name that I've put on there. They listen to their own names being mentioned in a freaky way and it makes them happy. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I thought I would chase after the money, you know, the Twitch itch money and the YouTube money and the TikTok money. Trust me, money is overrated most of the time. It is. And you don't need the person who tells you that to be rich before you realize it. All right. Money and the shit. Now, that's not going to say that I don't want money. If I want to make better content, I need better equipment. If I want to make better equipment, and I want to get better equipment, I do need money. Just, I'm going to be silent for a while. Just because I got to get them. Maria, it, it do be like that, though. Probably gonna have to end this one, but let's just call this part one. I don't, I don't know. It feels different when you're trying to talk to a lot of people. You're, you're trying to say stuff onto my podcast, and other people are like eavesdropping. I'm just really, I change when I'm around people. guys, what's up and welcome to Young Titan World, a show that brings you face to face with a god. Uh, <laughs> I am only kidding, or am I? Um, yes, just to backtrack, we were talking about streaming experience. So far, how's it been? What have I learned? And most importantly, why am I doing it? You know, because you can never just hop onto uh, a stream just for the purpose of just for the sake of it you know because because everyone's doing it you want to do it too you know <laughs> just want to be like one of the cool kids and that's exactly explains your entire struggle to be on a streaming service or platform what am i saying um 
yeah, for me, so far, it's not been negative, but it's not been positive as well. I mean, I saw it coming from a mile away. As a person who has no digital footprint that is worth noticeable or in like that's worth noting, you are not going to get like a hundred people trying to listen in to what you got to say or watch what you got to do online because honestly, no one gives a fuck about you. No one knows that you existed. All right. And yeah, so it, it makes sense that when times like that comes and you get zero people who are like listening in on to what you got to say or watching your shit, you can't blame them. You can't blame anybody when they have no idea that you exist, all right? Which, which is why I, I don't exactly see... I just see it like every single step of the way is great, you know? It's great because it actually lets me appreciate what it means to be a content creator. What it means to go up onto a stage and impress millions. Impress trillions, actually. Because... It's, it's not like a day thing where all of a sudden they're famous. All of a sudden everyone loves them. They started from somewhere. And maybe they got lucky and they've got friends who are famous and those people hooked them up. That's great. But that's not my origin story. Mine is from absolute nothingness. When <laughs> your father and the father before your father and your father before your father's father's father. <sighs> well, I didn't make sense in that, did I? <laughs> yeah, just whatever lineage that I had had nothing to do with being on the front lines. Everyone that I know in my family is has something to do in the background, you know. It's like they are behind the curtains they're pulling the strings and for a moment i thought i wanted the same thing too you know i wanted to be the dark hokage i wanted to be sasuke going on freaking secret missions and um having a bitch that is trying to stick to me no matter what i do even though i try to kill her more than once and she still got has a thing for me i guess she likes bad boys but that's not what i'm but that's not what I'm interested in anymore. It seems like I am meant for way more. I am the freaking young titan. I am beyond anything you've ever imagined. And um, yeah, that's that's cocky in every sense of the word, but uh, call it intuition, but I am the best. <laughs> And there is no need for verification of that because I am all the verification I freaking need. Ah, uh, Pekingese. Ah, uh, I miss Hagrid. I miss him so much. Why did he have to die? <laughs> Money! Okay, fine. I think we're driven. We're getting off topic here. Yeah, but streaming experience has been fun. Um, there are those days where you have people from different countries who send a hi or hello, but you wouldn't know because you don't speak their language. And if you say anything, you don't know how they're going to take it. You're basically streaming in English. Everything you're doing is en anglais. There is no freaking way that you... <laughs> There's no way that you could figure out what they're trying to type in there. Because it's freaking Arabic. And yes, to everyone who is Arabic, I love you. I love your or language. But bro, man can't figure out what's going on when sentences are typed. Man is confused. Man is absolutely deranged when he sees your language. I totally lose it. I totally lose it because I don't know what they're typing. Do they hate what I'm doing? Do they want to beat me up? Are they saying, catch me outside, motherfucker? Because I don't know. And I'm freaking out. So, if you could spare me your finest English sentences or words, I would be so appreciative. You know, I would love it. I'd really love it. 
But yes, I also have to make it a point to learn your language too because yes, I am all over the place. I might as well get the hang of it, okay? Because I can't go around using English as my only word. That doesn't work. If you want to be international, the least you could do, the least you could do is know at least a lot more languages, right? Because that's the only way international ever makes sense if you've got more languages up your sleeves. Um, but yeah, it's... It does get, there are those moments where I have this wave of un, uh, no confidence. I just feel like I can't say anything or do anything. I just, my mouth shut. I can't say anything. So I just play the game as hard as I can. And so that if I, whatever I can't say, I can make up for it in terms of um, good gameplay. Which seems to be a valid thing to do, right? And then it's like the, the game realizes you're trying to make up for the fact that you're super silent. <laughs> and it makes you suck even more. <laughs> and it's like, oh, wow, I'm silent and I suck. <laughs> and then and, and, and they're not going to watch that, that's for sure. So it's uh, it's definitely... A lot more interesting than I thought it would be. Um, sometimes I, I really wish I could do more. Um, hopefully I can get my own apartment. Because uh, mainly when it comes to what I want to say out loud, I become conscious because I know I'm living around people who know me. And if there's one thing that I don't like doing is bringing what I do online to where I stay. I, I, I like to keep those two pieces separate. I don't, I'm not, it's not like I'm doing anything bad. It's just, I become so self-conscious about everything that people say. If I'm living with you and you even smirk at the tiniest thing that I do, it might even be funny shit that I'm doing. But then I get so conscious about it then I don't want to do it anymore, all because of what happened and when you smirked. So I, I really like to keep these two worlds apart. And it's the exact same place where I'm supposed to also like stream. So yeah, I guess it gets tangled in the web and I don't like that. So uh, maybe as time goes on, I will be able to um, get an apartment that works for me and is clearly a better condition because even the place that i do have at casablanca that place is shitty as hell no cap uh that is that place seems like um osama bin laden was staying there it's like the place that he was hiding or something and i'm not hiding uh i guess the, the environment really affects me when I'm out in the streets, I feel super confident because I know that the cars around me are going to be blocking my sound in a certain way. So I could be as loud as fuck and no one is going to fucking hear me. Guess why? Because outside is loud. But when I'm inside the room, my voice is concentrated. It bounces off the walls and becomes magnanimous. It becomes huge and big as the fucking ocean. Sorry if I'm using so many cuss words. I, I, I really got to work on that. Uh, but yeah, I, I really find it a problem and I become so self-conscious on that as well. So, you know, there are a lot of gray areas as to my capabilities, all of which are going to be washing away anytime soon because I'm working on them 24-7. And, bro... I wouldn't want anyone to miss it for the world because who doesn't love a good glow up story, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, so the extreme experience has been one that um, really still requires a lot more of my consistency and perseverance, something that I want to get better at. Uh, I feel like a lot of things have happened this year. Um, I had to break away from certain habits and people. It hurts. I know. Uh, it's not the end of the world. 
I always like to see it as an opportunity to get better. Uh, quite frankly, I think the person would be better off without me, honestly. Because they, they are great. And in, they're great in their own way. I'm sure they have the reasons why they did what they did. And I wish them all the best. You know? Everyone's going through something. Everyone's going through something. Everyone has their reason. Even the darkest characters. Even Darth Vader is understandable. You know? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, some, sometimes when we look at the story twice, we realize that the villain might not actually be the villain. It's just someone who was broken and he decided to vent his frustrations in a different way. Uh, so it's not really... I, I really just don't think it's worth exploring. Um, but I will say this. Uh, you all out there, everyone who has the opportunity to listen to this, if you have like listened this far into my podcast, um, you are a titan. You are a titan among titans. How can you stand my annoying voice? For this amount of time, what powers do you possess? But yeah, um, I am talking to you guys that you deserve the world. You know, you deserve so much. Sometimes uh, there is this public agreement that life is hard. And so no one is supposed to complain about it. But (laughs) you ain't living my life. I ain't living your life. How the hell are you going to know what I'm going through? And even if we are all going through shit, what makes you think that I have the same resilience as you do? We're all different. We all go through different shit. And even if we go through the same shit, we don't react the same way. We don't deal with it the same way. So you might be going through some stuff. And no one knows about it. Or everyone knows about it, but they're telling you to suck it up. You're going to be okay. If you need to cry, you can cry. Hell, I know I cried a lot more times than I can care to admit. (laughs) Most of the time, I just find myself a, a, a road that has nobody on it. It's dark. In the evenings, I just take a stroll down that road where no one can see me, where there are no street lights. It's probably a dangerous idea, but I do it anyways because it's close to like some apartments and the apartments have security. So basically when I'm walking through there, it's not like I'm walking into danger, but I'm just walking there to clear my head and it's a safe way to do it. So yeah, as I'm walking, then the, I just let the tears out and yeah, it's painful feel a little bit lost you don't know what the fuck you're doing why the fuck did you agree to do something like this why are they hurting you when you've given them everything that you have bro i can name the list bro the list is right there but what good would it do (laughs) what good would it do You may have considered them to be your everything. Hell, you told them that they were your everything. (laughs) But probably to them, you're just another name that they've ticked off their hit list. And that sucks. What can you do? Pick up the pieces and you fucking trudge on. Because no one is better at this than you. No one does you better than you. Let them all see what they missed. And if they're not even close enough for them to see, (laughs) put it on loudspeaker for fuck's sake. 
Okay, so um, I'm gonna I just wrap it up and say that streaming is difficult. Um, I want to do more. I want to help people with my streams because there are those people out there that deserve help. God has given me this and I'm grateful for it. And as I'm growing, I just want you to know that you guys out there, everyone who feels like their world doesn't make sense, I feel you too. I mean, I don't even have a solution. But I want to believe that we can all figure it out together. Or you can laugh at my shortcomings. Maybe it'll make your world feel a little bit better. A little less terrible, you know? There was a saying in a con that's in Ghana. Uh, it says, Nipa hiya Nipa. Which, mean, which basically means humans need humans. So, uh, maybe you need me to feel less miserable. I don't know. Maybe I need you to feel less miserable. I'm not going to find out if you're somewhere else and I can't see you. Or you're far, you're not able to interact with me. So, in any case, I am availing myself. To be your confidant, to be your friend, to be your trusted mate in times of sorrow, despair, and self-loathing, I will be there. Where's my go chain? Sorry, wrong movie. I'll be there. Some sort. Because I, I really don't have a stable sleeping schedule now. So <laughs> once I close my eyes, it might be forever. Or like six hours. And I might end up in a different day. Sure does make sense, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's been great. You guys can check out you guys can check out my YouTube channel, which is Young Titan World, where I post all sorts of random stuff from songs to compilations to personal sketches that I don't yet have full faith in. <laughs> so it's kind of like one-sided. <laughs> it's like I'm doing it, but my heart's not in it. Even though it's in it, I just don't have the strength to do it full strength. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's exactly what happens. So yeah, you can check out my YouTube channel, which is Young Titan World. You can check my TikTok, which is Samster underscore or Young Titan. If you hashtag Young Titan, you're going to find me. And it's not your conventional Young Y-O-U-N-G Titan, T-I-T-A-N. No, it's Y-U-N-G T-Y-T-A-N Young Titan And The YouTube is Young Titan World Yes, because I'm creating a world Soon I will have a galaxy And a Young Titan universe Is all coming in full circle Don't worry about it My empire My beautiful empire will span Galaxies and universes Beyond your wildest Dreams I will leave you with an excerpt from one of my personal poems. It's actually the ending of it. And I came up with it by myself. And I kissed myself for that. And it says, I'm God. I'm king. 
I am sun and rain, and I sit upon my throne of pain. Sounds a little sadistic, but <laughs> yep, that's it's 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 a verse in that poem. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's a piece in that poem that really makes me. It, it really puts everything that I have been through in full circle. So that's why I love it so much. I am God. I'm king. I'm sun and rain. And I sit upon my throne of pain. The custodian of all that I survey. That is what I am. Well, it has been absolutely a delight to be with you this fine afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is you're into. I'm glad I was able to spend it with you. Now I got to hightail it back to my room and stream. You guys can go check me out or not. It's no pressure. Uh, uh, I also like to use this as a platform. If you're already aware of my YouTube channel and you're followed, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you as well as uh, following me on Spotify as well. Never really paid attention much on Spotify, but it's also a platform where people actually can see my podcast. So I also like to say a very big thank you to everyone that is able to, you know, get my stuff on Spotify. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys have an awesome day. More. I hope you have the strength to go through your day.